Hey guys, welcome to the next episode in The Saviour Cometh with Norwich. This is of course the second attempt and this is the game against Man City so I think our unbeaten streak here is about to come to an end as Man City are pretty much invincible at the start of this game. No, I am not being um, stupid when I say that. Um, I struggle so much against Man City, it's unbelievable. I don't think I've ever beaten them in the first two, three seasons. Especially, I don't think, especially not away. Um, I've never gone to the Etihad pre-2015 and won. They are just ridiculous. And added more to the ridiculousness is the fact they've got Shakiri and I'm going to guess that's Andre. Yep, Andre Ayu. And, okay, my thing hasn't... That's weird. Let's do that again. There we go. So if you, if you ever have that problem with your FM, just maxim, uh, maximise it again or press the green button. I don't actually know. Is that maximise on Mac? I don't even know what the terminology is. Um... Well, obviously we haven't got Fair or Hooper in this. Uh, Becchio, please. My assistant manager says play Luciano Becchio. I thought, why not go for it? Um, obviously, I realise it's been a while since I've uploaded one of these. I've been concentrating on my Let's Play series. That's probably what I'm just going to call it, to be honest. Just Let's Play Football Manager because, you know, it, it's it's easy, it's simple, and it'll attract viewers, so sod it. Uh, we're three points behind um, 17th place Sunderland, so just three points from safety, and we're five points clear of Rock Bottom Crystal Palace and two points there ahead of, uh, behind Sunderland this one I'm probably just going to go defensive and just try counter attack and play safe and things because if you go for it against City is what, what I find is like I mean just all out go for it you just get tonked completely like they just overrun you so we're going to go defensive we need the instructions alright uh, what we're going to add short passing not play out of defence because they'll just be on you like a flash Get stuck in, hassle them, tight marking, disciplines. Not going to say anything about higher up at the minute. Run at the defence. Hmm. I don't really want to say shoot on the site because the amount of just shots people have on this is just, like, they're so poor. And I don't mean just, like, they go a bit wide. I mean, they hit the frigging corner flag. It's that bad. Um, we'll just leave it at that for now and see what happens. Maybe a lower tempo. And I always like I always like to drill my crosses. Almost always. I just don't see the point floating them ever. I, it just doesn't appear right to me. Uh, Luciano Becchio, make sure he's had an advance for Yeah, advance forward would be fine. And I've just got rid of one there. Have a nice feck. Hang on. <laughs> run, I think we said run at the defence, didn't we? You know what? Fuck it. We'll just leave it as it is. Um, yep. Van Wolfswinkel. He's probably going to be completely and utterly useless, but we'll give it a go nevertheless. So here we go. Let's see how we do at the Etihad. We'll probably get our shit pushed in, but we'll go with it nevertheless. You probably won't find much rage on this video as I'm generally not expecting to you know, get anywhere in this game. Um, as I say, it's, it's become a tradition now that I get my shit pushed in by Man City. Um any time really when I, I was, I was, I was going to say Roberto Mancini's in charge but obviously he's gone now um, but yeah it, it was sort of since Mancini basically <laughs> it's been a tradition and this is the other one I suppose if you watch the first attempt I think we did also play Man City and we got butt raped there as well actually if we do get raped here um, I wonder, it'd be interesting to see if YouTube actually does allow it because rape is usually against the, the rules of uploading videos to YouTube but uh, if all else fails, I guess we could still post it in the comments because apparently Google Plus now allows you to post links. And um, if you ever do go on, this is just a bit of advice for people. I know you pr you probably need to heed this anyway, but whatever. And there's the goal, whatever. It was inevitable. Fuck off. Um, don't click on links. For the love of God, don't ever click on a link in a YouTube comment. It's most probably a link to virus, a malware, or in some cases a screamer. Um, uh, it's a scream is a bit, you know, when it's it's really loud. It's basically literally just someone screaming at you with a scary looking picture on it. Or a weird looking face or something. Okay, well, we're not going to drop deeper. We'll go to standard now. We'll just see what happens. Um, it was Let's push higher up, see what happens. So we, we, we can't get out of our own half in a minute. But yeah, um, so duck Christ, for God's sake, don't ever click on a link. But apparently, uh, you can post porn and all sorts in it now. So that's, uh, even though it's against the YouTube comments, uh, sorry, uh, common rules, you can still do it. Because YouTube aren't enforcing anything which is genius as far as I can see. Um, and yeah, I don't know if people are doing it on my comments because I haven't, I haven't seen any, but I 
I would not advise you to do it because you'll probably get banned if uh, you do, so <laughs> don't bother. Anyway, here's Becchio with a chance, and again, so we, it, that's what I knew what happened. If, if we did get a chance, chances are we're not going to take it because of the just sheer lack of quality we have up front. We're not doing too badly. Uh, John Ruddy is keeping us in this game. It's 1-0, but you need more than one chance, to be honest, because, as I say, if you have Ricky Van Wolfswinkel and Luciano Becky up front, you're going to need more than one chance to take their chance because they're not going to be able to take them. And again, no team talk. Um, Olsen and Ayala. I don't know what it is about my left-backs. I just seem to have... Or the game just appears to really pick on left-backs. They always have a poor game. I don't know if it's just because they're up against almost always good players, like the left side, like right-sided players or something are, are really good. Um, but yeah, as you can see, we are being dominated as expected. I don't actually know what to do. Uh, if you call me defeatist if you want, that's fine. But it's either push forward and you get tonked, but get defensive and you get tonked more. I don't know. Um, more risky passes, why not? We're in position. Shoot more, might as well. There's my phone. <laughs> Run wide, yep, yeah, just go for it, see what they can do. We're still in it, it's 1 0. Well, that's never, that's, that's no good at all, just lumping it forward. I can't stand it. I'm, when they just lump it forward. Uh, call me. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I thought I was going to have a chance there, but no, it's going to be a Man City breakaway. That That is just not surprising in the slightest. Jen Shakiri. He's one of those players who I thought was always going to be like one of the top players. You know, about now, a few years ago, like in, by 2013, he'll be like one of the top players. It's ironic, really, that the player in... Oh, my God, who scored? Holy shit, we have scored Martin Olsen. The player having the bad game, the left back who is poor. <laughs> wow, I was not expecting that. But we are still going to get our shit pushed in by Man City as they do bounce back almost... Ooh, I was going to say almost immediately. Well then, we are now definitely going to go to contain, waste time and play safer. Because <laughs> this is where we can see it in the corner, isn't it? Hold on. Three, two, one. Vincent Company have a shot. Nope. Hopefully we, this might just nullify them a bit if you play it safer. Because usually when you do play it... Uh, is it going to be a goal from a goal kick? From a shitty goal kick? Yeah, it was nearly, nearly as well. That would not have been a surprise at all. I don't know what it is. I need to tell my goalkeeper, actually, um, to stop doing that. Let's play an Alcaraz Trek Ortista. Let's see what happens there. Um, yeah, so I'll tell Ruddy to stop punting it upfield because, as we know, that almost always leads to a goal, especially when you play the likes of Man City, um, when, you know, chances are you never, you're not going to have a goal kick good enough to beat their defence, so it's just utterly, utterly pointless uh, in telling them, telling the goalkeeper to, to boot through fields, might as well literally just play it short, and I know it's like, well, the strikes are going to be quicker on to you, but I still maintain that when a goalkeeper kicks her upfield, more often than not, the CPU is going to win most of them headers in the middle of the park, and uh, that's just going to lead to more of a chance for them, and watch now, is it going to do it, or is it going to stop? Yeah, look, Will we, okay, so not. Okay, that was really weird. That was an exception, <laughs> definitely, because I've never seen that happen before. Especially that David Silva just managed to hit the corner flag from the halfway line. That's impressive. Oh, and James Milner. Incidentally, uh, I've got, if you do follow me on Twitter, I've got a great account I recommend you to follow called Boring Milner. It's hilarious. It's just James Milner. Also, I'm posing as James Milner, but posting really boring statuses. Like, you know, um, just turn the heater up from two to three or something, you know, uh, in the car this morning. You know, something stupid like that. I don't know why, but because it's James Milner, it's funny. <laughs> so I'd, I'd have a look at that and recommend it. It's really amusing. Let's bring Elliot Bennett on for um, Robert Snodgrass. Again, I'm just looking at ratings. I think I wouldn't pay much attention to the ratings personally. I find the ratings are really harsh on this game. Right, what's has Bennett won the ball? Is he going to lose it to Silva? No, he's got him. We might actually have a chance here, provided we don't give it away sloppily. Here's Riera. And Van Wolfswinkle. Oh, my God. He, you know what? He really should have made more of that. No, I'm not happy with that. He he's definitely could have done more. Um, 
Let's not push higher up, Jesus. In fact, let's just not do anything. Go, yeah, take a point right now and snap your hand off for a point, especially considering the fact that Man City have just scored and Julian Lescott of all fucking people. Why did I just... Uh... Well, I suppose it's a it's a fair res result. That's not a fair result at all, is it? <laughs> Actually, no, it is. Man City probably, or most definitely, do deserve to win. It's just... Um... Uh, it was always going to happen. You know, it's impossible. I can't beat Man City. Oh my god! I thought it was going to go in. I thought Bennett had the chance. But no, that'll do it. It's going to be a defeat. Well, it's always it, as I say. It's you defaulted to always be beaten by Man City at the start of this fucking game. Um, but that's annoying, especially when it's an eighty-fourth minute winner from Julian fucking Lescott. Um, will not sit well. No, no shit. No shit. Um, who's he after? It's February. Why are you interested in signing him? It's fucking the end of February. And oh, that's great. Anyway, next game is going to be against Fulham uh, at home. Hopefully, we sh we could get a better result here. Result there. We'll just have a look and see how the other teams do. Um, actually, no, because in fact, that's why have we why have we played that extra game in hand? Is it FA Cup or something? Yeah, we played that on the Wednesday, which is a bit weird. Hmm. Well, we'll find out in the next episode anyway. So we've got two weeks, and we'll make sure they have a rest. I better be able to do that. Yep. Yeah. Do it for seven days. Okay, thanks for watching. I will uh, see you for the following game then. Bye-bye.